Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm getting ready to play garbage with Mrs. Davis, and I'm making a video so that you might be able to play at home too with someone in your family or someone who's taking care of you, brother or sister. Um, I'm gonna have ask Mrs. Davis to help me explain it because I know how to play it, but I don't know if I can explain it just right. I do know that you need a deck of cards like these. Thanks, Mrs. Davis, a deck of cards. Um, and so if you have one of those, great. If not, I think you can use the number cards that are in your learning bag too. You might just have to make a few adjustments to the play. Okay, I'm gonna get in my spot and let Mrs. Davis take over explaining how to play garbage. Enjoy. All right, Pinky, do you wanna sit right over here? Cause this is your spot and then this is my play area. And I'm just gonna explain here, let's get you in the camera a little bit. I'm just gonna explain how to everybody how to set up the cards. You should have two rows of five. Each person should have two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And it's kind of like a 10 frame. So I'm trying to get um, a number in each place, a number card in each place. And for one, I'm using an ace and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then your goal is to do the same thing, Pinky. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so far so good. And then the rest of the deck goes in the middle. And let's say we'll start with your turn. And so you'll pick up this first card. And it's a six. So Pinky, you have to put that in the six spot. So it'd be one, two, three, five, six. So you pick up this card, put this one here, and you're trying to get all of your cards filled in. Oh, look, Pinky, you got a six. So can you use that? No, I can't use that one. That's correct. You can't. So you'll say garbage and put it here. And now it's my turn. And let's see. Oh, I can use that six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to go here. So I pick up this card, put my six here, and now I have a jack. I can't use a jack. Garbage. All right, Pinky, it's your turn. I'm going to pick up the card for you because your fine motor um, paws are not as, as as good at picking up these, these thin cards. Seven. Oh, you can use a seven. It goes right here next to the six. And then look, you got a seven again. This is like what happened the last time. I can use that seven. It'll go right here next to my six. So the, the cool thing about this game is that not only are we filling in a 10 frame, so it's helping us get our number sequence down for 10. Um, it's also a great perspective taking game. And so when um, Pinky picked up the seven, she knew she couldn't use it, but she also was probably thinking, oh, Mrs. Davis can use that seven. And so I picked up a four. I know Pinky needs this four, but I can use this four. So I'm gonna put it here. And then I picked up a two. Pinky can use it, but it's not her turn. It's my turn. So I'm going to put it here where the two would go. <gasps> I'm getting really lucky. I got a 10. So I'm going to put it where the 10 would go, which is down here. And I got a four. I can't use that four. This is the perspective taking part. I can't use a four because I already have a four here. But look, Pinky's has not gotten a four yet. So if I put this here and say garbage, I know that Pinky is probably thinking, I can use that four. And I might think, oh, I just helped Pinky out. Or I can kind of celebrate it and go, oh, I just helped Pinky out. And so this goes here. And then look, oh, Pinky, you got a 10. And I'm I'm helping Pinky with her turn because her paws aren't very good at this fine motor. Ooh, Pinky, you got a two. Now, I don't need a two. She needs the two. It goes right here. Oh, Pinky, you got a three. See? And Pinky's getting some really good cards. She got a nine, which is going to go right before the 10, because nine is one less than 10. <sighs> Pinky, I'm afraid you might win here. And I'm celebrating for you, even though I'm thinking to myself, oh, goodness, I wish I had gotten so lucky and got some of these cards. Oh, but look, I think your turn might end here because you got a seven. So you'll put this here and say garbage. And now you might be thinking, oh, Mrs. Davis can use that seven. But look, I can't because I already have a seven here. So I'm gonna pick from the cult, from the pile. And I got a queen, which is garbage, I can't use it. It's gonna go here and you can't use it either, but it's your turn. And we just keep playing. Look, you got an ace, which is a one. That's gonna go here. Now look, you got a five. Oh, Pinky George just won the game. That's garbage. But before that, she filled out her whole 10 frame. And so for the next round, because Pinky 
filled out her whole 10 frame. Now she only plays with nine cards. So she'll be looking for one through nine for the next one. And I have to work with 10 until I went around. And if Pinky wins again, then she would work with eight and keep going until um, somebody gets down to they're just playing with one card. That can take a while. So you can decide, oh, we're just going to play three rounds or or four rounds or whatever. But I hope you have a lot of fun with this game. Pinky, do you want to say goodbye to everybody and we can maybe play another round? Thanks for watching. That was really fun. I'm so glad I won. But I also want to be a good sport and let Mrs. Davis know that um, I am hoping that she has better luck next time. Better luck next time, Mrs. Davis. Thanks, Pinky George. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Have fun playing garbage. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching my video.